I'm inside the Stockholm Smessen, the venue for the United Nations Stockholm Plus 50 conference. Today is the first day of the meeting and many heads of state, ministers and representatives from the non-governmental and governmental organizations have gathered here for the opening session. Let's take a look of what the participants talk about. Stockholm Plus 50, convened by the United Nations, is taking place in Stockholm, Sweden, from June 2nd to June 3rd. Thousands of people from government and civil society organizations participate in the meeting to discuss issues under the theme of a healthy planet for the prosperity of all, our responsibility, our opportunity. Her Excellency Ms. Magdalena Anderson, Prime Minister of Sweden, calls on every nation to do its part to tackle the environmental crisis. We will speed up this process. And hear me when I say, we won't speed up the green transition because we are kind, but because we are smart. Stockholm Plus 50 welcomes associated events which serve a complementary role providing diverse opinions. One of the associated events is held on June 3rd by the Federation of World Peace and Love, Association of World Citizens and Taiji Manchigong Academy. Participants discuss how to apply conscience education and exchange conscience-based solutions to foster responsible world citizens to accelerate ecosystem restoration. The president of Fopal, Dr. Hong Daozi, encourages all people to consider the well-being of the entire planet. Dr. Aldo Manos, former director of UNEP, shares the importance of conscience in a role that can facilitate environmental protection. The conscience is the essence of environmental protection. Uh, without it, there is no protection. There is no understanding of the importance of nature and how we are all connected uh, with uh, the world around us and uh, the people around us. It's only through conscience that you can hope to uh, have laws that will be respected. I believe that if you love Mother Nature, you will be able to be at peace with yourself. If you destroy Mother Nature and exploit her resources, you're not going to be at peace with anyone. Ring the bell. During the Stockholm Plus 50 conference, 11 ministers, UN officials, and visionary leaders have rung the bell of world peace and love. The ceremonies are held by the Fopal to awaken people's conscience and demonstrate the bell ringer's commitment to global sustainability and pray for the world. And throughout my life, even though I'm not perfect, these three works have always rung through in my life conscience, morality, and ethics. And for me to have discovered this movie, I was even reluctant to come here. But it's like somebody, this lady over there, kept on pushing me. I'm sure it is that spirit which has brought me here. In Costa Rica, we say that the mothers of Costa Rica are the most happy mothers in the planet because they know that their kids, their son, will never go into a war because there is no army. They are very proud. As the world is facing daunting challenges, every nation and every individual can do his or her part to make the world more sustainable so that the next environmental conference could be a celebration. Ella Lee Joshua Stockholm.